Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in Ohio. It's been a long time since we've had an Ohio vid, so I thought now would be a perfect chance to drop a good old-fashioned Ohio vid. Basically, <clears throat> I was in the middle of playing the Kansas, the Minnesota, you know, stuff like that, and then I was like, you know what? While I'm waiting for a ship to come back, maybe I'll jump in the how and take it for a romp. And uh, this is what happened. So hopefully you guys are ready because uh, this one will be a solid one. Not going to be the craziest damage game in the world, but it's going to be a pretty, pretty juicy game. Uh, a lot of good things to talk about. So before we get started, if you guys are interested in these videos, if you guys are enjoying these videos, go ahead and punch that like button for me. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Be a part of the channel. We love you over here. It's just the way it is. Plus... It helps the algorithm, so thank you guys so much. But, uh, yeah. So what is there not to love about the Ohio? Nothing. Nothing. Everything about the Ohio is to love. Like, there's nothing bad about this ship at all. Uh, the only thing you could potentially complain about is it only has eight guns. Oh my goodness. But there are eight 457 millimeter guns that are disgustingly good. And it has all of the things that you love about Montana's tankiness and, and like, survivability. But it's buffed beyond that because it has a special repair party. I know, it's kind of crazy. So what is so special about the repair party? First of all, it heals more, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the same heal as uh, Montana, but I think it heals a little bit more. But it does come back faster than Montana. That I do know. Um, which means that you can heal quicker. You, you can get those heals back quicker. Oh, well, which is really, really nice. Now, obviously, the other thing that everybody always talks about is the secondaries on this thing. And while they are solid, I don't build into secondaries on this one. Uh, I prefer to get these guns doing what they do best, which is reaching out, touching people, and ruining lives. That, that's what these guns are, okay? So we are built for Azure Lane, New Jersey. For those of you who don't know, Azure Lane, New Jersey has some special perks. And her perks are simple. If you shoot a ship beyond 10 kilometers, you get extra damage. If you shoot a uh, citadel, you get extra damage. So if you do a citadel beyond 10 kilometers, you do a lot more damage. And to top it all off, you might notice we're running a catapult fighter. That's because we're running Arthas as an inspiration. Who's Arthas and what does he do? Arthas is a Warhammer 40k commander, a premium commander. His base trait allows you that while you have a catapult fighter airborne, you have 20% more damage. So, we wait until the shells are about to hit, and we punch the button for the catapult fighter, triggering Arthas for the extra 20% of nothing. That's what we got. 20% of nothing. I know. Impressive. Who could have done that better? Nobody. Nobody! Fortunately, we actually, or unfortunately, I should say, we ran into a GK that actually used his god darn mind for once. He's like, oh, there's bad guys. They're going to shoot at me. I need to turn away. And his armor works. It's funny. Oh, my God. Not like this. No, thank God. But uh, unfortunately, we are not getting the RNG that we need. Uh, two of those shells actually penetrated, but they were th penetrating the guns, so they did no damage. So we have eight shell hits and zero damage. Thank you, Arthas, for the 20% of nothing. Much appreciated. But uh, Schroeder, on the other hand, not going to be so lucky. As he comes around the corner, we uh, absolutely punish him. Remember, Schroeder doesn't have very good bow plating, so we go straight through that, no problem. And uh, not only that, but he's going to eat all the torpedoes. He's, he's not long for this world, is what I'm saying. So, just like that, with one shot, we got 18,000 damage. Uh, which makes the first two shots look a little bit better. And don't worry, there's more where that came from with this GK, okay? At the end of the day, it's a GK, alright? There's only so much you can do to take this monstrosity and avoid damage, okay? At some point, the damage is going to start coming. Speaking of which, hello, superstructure. Are you open for business? Okay, not the best result. Okay, we must have hit the gun turret again, uh, getting three ricochets there, but we got two pins. And my buddy over here in the other Ohio... Uh, put a pretty solid hit on him as well. So we're up to 24,000 damage. It's okay. But look at that. We have armor too, Sunshine, and our armor belt is actually better. Sorry. Hate to break it to you. Just facts. Okay, we take a shot at Superstructure again, showcasing our RNG in this match was awful. All right? Just ain't no getting around it. It was terrible. But, uh, 
Yeah, it's, it's just a matter of time, okay? RNG giveth and RNG taketh away. Up to this point, I had forgotten to sacrifice my daily baby carrot. Y'all know how it is. You gotta sacrifice your baby carrots, all right? And now that we've sacrificed our baby carrot, now we're gonna start landing some shots. That was front gun, here goes rear gun. We do have Arthas triggered again, so we get that extra 20% damage. And because we've already pinned his guns a couple of times, we finally get the end cap as well. So it is a uh, best case scenario. And now the gross occur first, despite me not having a secondary build, has wandered into my secondary range, which has a base range of seven and a half kilometers. So he's got a lot of five inch guns headed in his direction. And then there's that accuracy. You can't make it up, folks. We may have been struggling up to this point, but right now, RNG Jesus is blessing us. It is just straight up like, nope, you don't get away with this. And we've taken almost no damage in the process as I get slapped from the right. Keep in mind, there is a Japanese battleship on my right. I can't remember if it's a Heezen or a, a Iwami. One of those tier 8s. But uh, we're going to aim high here. We don't want to hit the belt. He is still angled, so it's an Iwami. There it is. I know it was one of those ships. Oh, God! Torps! And once again, steering gears saving my bacon. Ouch. Okay, Iwami, you're a problem. Also, Elbing, go off, man. Go, go play somewhere else. But uh, this Iwami is legitimately begging for it. So uh, let's see if we can't give it to him. You know, sitting broadside in a Japanese battle or, uh, battleship seemed like a great strategy. And RNG says, you know, I agree. No Citadel. It is an Awami. They, they tend to not take as many Citadels for whatever reason. Uh, they've got a different armor scheme than most of the Japanese Tier 8 battleships. Uh, the Awami just has has a little bit different. But uh, it, it still gets deleted if you aim correctly. It's just that we hit right at the thickest part of his armor. So we didn't quite get the Citadel. But don't worry. Even without Citadels. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we absolutely crushed them. Like I said, it's not impossible to sit a Delum, it's just not as easy. You have to kind of go for a little bit further forward than you'd expect, because the armor is pretty thick at the belt. So, uh, we get rid of him, we're up to 124,000 damage. It's amazing what happens when this thing finally starts to allow you to hit the target. It's it's one of those things, it's much like the, uh, the Georgia, much like, uh, you know, I've always said these 18-inch guns are disgusting, but they are also inconsistent. However, the bringing in of uh, the epic and legendary mods have turned these 18 inch guns into absolute nastiness. You might notice we're already up to 100, uh, we're at four times on the epic mod, which means more accuracy. And we have two legendary kills because we had two kills. So we have two uh, legendary procs as well, which means more damage. So now we are more accurate with more damage and we still have Arthas for three more planes. So, yeah. Needless to say, the enemy are not going to have a good time if we get a chance to shoot them. That's just how it is. So, uh, as we start to move forward, our goal is not to chase the destroyer. That's not a, a fight that we're going to win, most likely. The destroyer is just going to keep trying to torpedo over and over again. It's an Elbing. Slow torpedoes, good guns, but uh, the torpedoes do hit harder than most German torpedoes. So, if you do take them, it hurts. Uh, which is not ideal, but they still reload relatively quickly as well. So chasing down an Elbing in a battleship, probably not a good idea. Foreshadowing? Maybe. But uh, we're going to try to move over here to the Delta Cap. I know the Destroyer's here, so I'm going to have to keep trying to change course. i gotta, I got to anticipate when these torpedoes are coming. He's clearly still here. He's spotting me for his team. His team, fortunately, are not in a position where they can shoot us because we have pretty good range and we can't shoot them. So guess what? They can't shoot me either. But as we move a little bit closer, we have a beautiful look at a Des Moines as we are closing in on range. But Des Moines is going to run and get behind the island, so it's unfortunate. But we're not going to be able to get a shot at him yet. Uh, however, the, the Elbing is like, screw you! And then he smokes up and disappears. But we're going to get a shot here. We're going to take that shot with Arthas in. And we get one overpin for like nothing. 20% more than nothing. But it was still basically nothing. But uh, is what it is. I'm not real worried about him because, again, if he hadn't fired his guns there, if he hadn't fired his guns, he probably could have killed me with those torps. I ain't gonna lie. I was changing course, but he he made me change course even further by shooting at me. He does get the fire here, which is a little bit annoying, and I'm I'm a little hesitant to put it out because I know that I'm about to be shot by all kinds of other stuff. Plus, knowing that there's a destroyer here that can torp me relatively quickly, 
I don't want to waste a damage con and be on damage control cooldown for the next minute and a half while I have torpedoes coming at my, right? Flooding is way worse. So we go ahead and elect to let the fire burn for now, and then we go for the, um, the heal. And again, the heals are fantastic on this ship. They're just nasty, right? Uh, now here, the Mino makes a critical error. He fires his guns one too many times, which allows me to spot his little turd blossom butt. And we get the shot out, and wait for it. Pow! <laughs> Welcome to the Thunderdome, bitch! Oh, sorry for the language, but come on. It was hilarious. I, I love dev striping, dev striking Minos. Like, there is n very few things in this world that I, I love more than just dev striking a little turd blossom in a Mino. One of them is killing a destroyer, though, and this destroyer... Thank God these torpedoes are so slow. <laughs> like, they really are. And again, if the guy would stop shooting at me, he'd probably have a better success chance at hitting torpedoes here. But uh, he is just kind of letting things go, and every time he fires his guns at me, you can see I turn to my battleship, and I'm like, dude, get into the Delta Cap, because I have to chase this little turd off, right? We know he's here, and again, not a great idea to chase down a destroyer in a battleship, right? Especially one that's going to be able to torp relatively quickly. Now, as much as I wanted to turn my guns to fire at the Des Moines here, because he is in range... Uh, I was expecting to spot the little turd blossom around this island. I was wrong. So, you can see I'm starting to turn my guns back the other direction. I'm considering turning away, and that's about the time, as soon as I start turning my guns, this little turd blossom starts shooting me again. Like, he just can't help himself. He's like, I got to shoot this battleship. I'm an LB. It's what we do. <laughs> so, every time I look away, that's when the little turd starts firing at me. Now, we get a shot out on the Des Moines, and of course, in true Spartan fashion, as soon as I decide to commit to shooting at him, he loses all of his hit points, right? Like, there is no hit points to be had for me. Uh, and just as we get the shot to go, the uh, Ohio that's been hiding at the back of the map the entire time gets the kill shot on him. Now, obviously, Elbing shoots. I'm turning away from him because, again, anticipating torpedoes, right, folks? It isn't that difficult. We're in a very big ship. Doesn't turn the greatest. But, you anticipate the torpedoes, and you get skinny in the direction they're coming from, whether it be turning away or turning towards them, they are much easier to dodge. Now here, we get a shot out, we're going to try to hit them with the guns, we do have Arthas going, and uh, we get a pretty solid result. Again, 20% damage plus all of the other bonuses we have, because we got a third kill, we have even more damage. So... Elbing probably wasn't expecting to get hit as hard as he did there. He has a lot of hit points, and so he's still, he's still like, thinking, oh, I can get away with this, right? Well, now that he hasn't torped me just yet, I'm going to go ahead and start my turn back in, which, again, allows me to get skinny to the direction that he's coming from. We get a couple more hits on target, each one of those doing about 1,900 damage apiece, and we hit three of them, so pretty solid damage there. We're up to 191,000 damage. He's got just over 10,000 hit points. How do you know that? Because each one of those little lines of his health bar is 5,000 health. So we know he's got just over 10,000 left. He stops thinking he's safe. We take the shot and... Bonk. We hit him with four more pins. One of those was a full pin that probably did close to 4,000 damage. So this guy has no health left. None. He survived by the skin of his teeth. Because in true Spartan fashion, we gotta leave him with just enough to get away. Now, this is the part where things take a turn for the worse. Again, chasing a destroyer in a battleship, bad idea. But, sometimes, I get close to a milestone, like 200k damage, and I throw caution to the wind. We've won this game. We have teammates coming over this direction, so I know this guy is likely to go to the left. That was the direction he was pointing towards, but it's also the direction away from the other people, and you know they're spotted as well. So he's going to try to get away from them and try to torp me obvious right now unfortunately he is starting to get a little bit smarter uh he's not firing his guns anymore because he knows he'll die so he doesn't want to end up at a spartan video but it's too late sunshine you're already here but uh, he torps the first set way out ahead of me and i'm like okay we're good but remember there is always the second set and uh he actually delayed these ones and catches me off guard as i decide to turn back out if I had just stayed with that turn towards him, I would have been fine. But no! <laughs> I end up taking two of these torpedoes, which is terrible! 
So now we're down to about 10,800 hit points and one or two more tarps and it's a, that's a wrap, sunshine. And he's going to get loaded again, right? It's German. So we know there are more torpedoes on the way. Uh, and if he doesn't get loaded, he does have the ability to uh, at least shoot me and potentially kill me. Remember, Elbing's guns are ridiculous. It has insane armor piercing that can pin and do nasty damage to even battleships, let alone Citadel and cruisers. So you can see, unfortunately, our, uh, I think it's a Stalingrad behind me or something, um, Radars, but not in range. Maybe it's crunched. I forget. But not quite in range. But uh, yeah, I wasn't quite on target here. Look at him. Less than 5,000 hit points left. We left him with just enough to get away. And of course, the little turd blossom starts shooting me right at the end of the game. If he had fired his guns a little bit sooner, he probably kills me there. Because I wasn't looking in the right direction. But uh, 3,000 base XP in the Ohio. Coming in top. Just narrowly missing out on a 200k game. Not too shabby, if you ask me. So if you enjoyed, don't forget to punch that like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.